Hey everybody, welcome back to Breath of the Wild. Now, um, my brother had just left. We finished playing out last two and recording that. Um, I tried to get some of the Halloween videos done early, um, so that way I can um, edit them ahead of time, so that way they're out of post before Halloween. And also, I do it because I'm going to be going on vacation towards the end of September, towards the beginning of October, which is when I start posting Halloween videos. Um, uh, I'm alone in this one for uh, this Zelda playthrough here. Uh, the newer episodes I'm going to be recording, and... Did I break this? No. What a weak throw you got there, Link. Anyway, um, as, as per usual of The Last Zelda, I did a lot of um, stuff off screen. Well, not entire. I didn't do any story-based stuff off screen, but I did a lot of like um, gameplay stuff off screen, and uh, got a lot of. I got. I forgot. I got the uh, the Hyrule Shield off screen. I did manage to get that. Um, I got a lot of different um, gear. Obviously, as you can see, I did. A, I I try to do a lot of this stuff off screen, like doing the mission, like doing the uh, the trials, doing side quests, and getting gear and weapons and stuff, because I don't want to put too many let's play videos that has to do with uh, just the with just those. It just I realized that it took up too much time when I originally played the game, like when I did like the first twenty five episodes. Let me talk to this old guy. Yeah? Oh yeah, this guy. Because it's the last guard, uh, uh, divine beast I have to get since I had gotten the previous three. Ooh, jeez. Back pain on the go Goron. I didn't mean to say that, I didn't, I kind of like tried to freaking speed through his text and I accidentally hit the wrong response. Some painkillers from, <laughs> some pain, I didn't know you guys had that. Wasting time, hey. Where is he? Oh, jeez. Okay, so now I have to find the next... And how far is that? Ooh, uh, I could probably teleport here and get there faster. Um... So yeah, also, I probably should talk about this since I'm doing this, though I'm gonna be the... There's gonna be an update video that's gonna be out weeks. Blah. There's gonna be an update video out weeks before this come before these videos come out. But um, I am uh, the channel is gonna be change is gonna you're gonna see a lot of changes before during this time. Like thumbnails gonna change mainly. A lot of the video editing that I'm gonna be doing is gonna change. Try and do it not like too drastically, but uh, like I'm gonna change it up a little bit to make it seem more interesting. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Hey boy! Hold on, I got up here. Dang it! Hold on. Stay right there. Of course, I just get freaking. Uh, all right, hold on. Full recovery, and I gotta use that. Um, I'm just gonna use one of these things that increase my heart. Really by one? I don't wanna I don't wanna waste that. I'll eat some raw meat. Ha! I'll take those. Um I gotta wait until he starts sucking air up. 
See, look at how easy that is. Ooh, there's a lot of lava here. Um, I don't think I've been here before. Not sure. Uh, that guy's supposed to be around here. Oh, there he is, I think. That's him? No, that's not him. It's not, I don't think that's his name. Yeah, there, that's the guy. Can I have your sword? Oh, boy. Uh, who are you? Drac. Uh, let's see, ever since the Divine Beast, can't pronounce that word, showed up, there's tons of lava. It's way too hot now, and there are more monsters around. Yeah, of course. That's mainly Ganon's fault, to be honest. Where am I? Well, I want to see if there's some stuff I can get around here, actually. Uh, I think that's it. Well, Rupee, can I blow these things up? Nope, I cannot do that. Now, he's... Hold on, I gotta get my map out now. He is all the way over there. I could probably try and climb up one of these bigger areas that I could jump down there. One of those things over there. Is there a closer like area that hmm. What's the closest thing I can go to that would be there? It'd be the the gut check rock. And I'd have to climb all the way up here and travel there. It'd be much easier. Uh, let's look around here first and see if there's anything. There's something to do with these things, these machines. These, like, blasting things. They have to do with something. I don't know what it is, but something. Oh, wow, how did you already spot me, bro? Oh, thanks! Thanks a lot! Oh, oh, just lovely. Just send me... Why do you send... Oh, my lord. Hold on. Like, it, it like recovers me right here where he's about to shoot me. That's not fair. Okay. I'm not close enough. See, he's not close enough either. Okay, hold on here. That stuff's going to burn before I can get it, though. Most, some of it at least. Hey, how about climbing the ladder? Okay, so... I'm making my way downtown. Oh, there's some. Come on. Air. It must, it might be hot air, but it's air. Anyway, um, better heal myself. Uh, okay, 
so I need only one thing to heal. That'll do some weed. <laughs> um, you know, let's talk about some. Um, so with the coming E3 that came around, you know, a lot of people are saying like Nintendo did a really good job. I think Nintendo did a pretty decent job at E3. I mean, obviously they could have shown more, but I can't believe I missed that. Screw that. Alright, and yeah, I think they did a good job. I mean, yeah, they could have had, you know, they could have had a longer thing. And to be honest, they probably had more content, like, hidden away that they probably were had planned on coming out next year. But I honestly don't know if, you gotta think, I guess I gotta think of it this way and what Nintendo said. It's best to show games that are coming out there, because if you're going to show a bunch of games that are coming out next year, all you're doing is teasing people about what is what is going to come out, and you're not giving them, like, hey, this is what's going to happen, you know. And I guess I can understand that. In a sense. Um, I think I'm getting closer to where he is. Really now? Oh, he got trapped. Alright, hold on. Uh, maybe I should do a full recovery. Okay, wait a minute. Now, can you cool these off with ice? No. I can't destroy those things. Thought I was far away. How do you do this? Hmm. I think you have to set up. I think you probably have to set up something with the cannons, and you have to blast it open with that. I think that's what you have to do. Which is stupid, because I have no idea how to set up those freaking cannons. Also, I know what this is over here. Yep, one of these guys. I got ten of those. I probably can uh, upgrade my thing now. Uh, really? I thought those did more. Th oh, maybe it's these ones. Oh, these heal a full one. I got so many of these. Um, I got a lot of these too. I need some raw meat because that's good for me. Uh, see, I don't know what to do here actually. I wonder if I have to defeat the enemies in the area. Well, that defeated those two. Now there's the ones over in that area. But see, the thing is, because they're fire lizards, they get taken out one hit with the. What's in here? <clears throat> a royal bow. Do I have any. Dang it. Um, do I have a weaker bow I can get rid of? Uh, yes, I can get rid of this. Drop it. Drop it. Okay. Hmm, hold on a second. What's the beginning? Oh. Thank you, come again. I'll just take your stuff. I 
can't take that. Um, there's a thing nearby. I'm I will in the bed. It's like in the middle of the lava pit, right? What is this? Oh. There's some enemies over there. I wish I knew what those cannons did. That's the thing. And there's one nearby, but I don't know where. I wonder if I have to kill all the enemies. It did say there's a lot of enemies that showed up. Let me see if I can kill all of them. And then maybe the, the Gorons can come over here. There's only two of them left, from what I've seen. Down he goes. Alright, let me see. I think there's two left. Yeah, there's one there. Oh wow, there's actually more than that. They all have fire arrows too. Oh crap. That thing broke like right there. Um Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Did... Oh, he can go in the lava. Oh, I killed him. I, I didn't know that that would go there. Alright, let me see. I don't know if there's any other ones. I gotta look. What I think I have to do is I have to use these cannons in some way and blast those rocks. I think. I, but I don't know how to do that. Oh, stop that. The boss... Boss's cannons don't... Don't you dare touch that level. Hmm... I might need to go talk to the, the guy again. Uh, the main guy, the main Gerudo. Not Gerudo, Goron. What am I saying? Yeah, I need to go talk to the main Goron, that big boss guy, and then ask him about... And probably tell him about the... That he's stuck in a freaking thing. And that I need to get them out, I think. Because I can't activate those cannons without it. And I think those cannons are the only way to destroy those rocks. The one that's blocking him from exiting. Alright, so... But anyway, as I was saying, and it's another thing that I need to say, a lot of people say, you know, the power of a console is, is what really matters nowadays. If the console doesn't have a lot of power, like if it's not the best, it's not up to date in terms of like, like you know, like if it's not the strongest console around, it doesn't, it's, or it's not close to being strong, or it's, it's the weakest one, like it doesn't, like kind of like how the Switch isn't strong, isn't, it's, the Switch isn't as strong as the, uh, Dang it, okay, so... What do I do then? Anyway... The Switch isn't as strong, but yet... It, I th personally, in my opinion, yes, I, I'm a bigger Nintendo fan than I am a Sony and Microsoft, and I'm definitely bigger... I'm definitely also a bigger Sony fan than I am a Microsoft fan. But I own all the consoles. I own an Xbox One, a PS4, a Nintendo Switch, I also own own a Wii U. I own the PS3 and a 360 and a Wii. 
when, in that generation. I owned GameCube, an Xbox, and a PS2, and a Dreamcast. I owned an N64, a PlayStation. I never owned a Saturn, no. Never in my life have I owned a Saturn. I would love to get a Sega Saturn. Um, but I owned a Gen I owned a Super Nintendo. Um, we did, er, no, not Super a Genesis. Um, I had, so, and I had an NES. So, I and I had a PSP. I had the PS Vita. You know, I have a PC for crying out loud as well. So it's like I prefer. I like all consoles. I like every single console. I like to have every single one because each has their own unique, exclusive experiences compared to that of like maybe other. You know, things. And like yes, the PlayStation and the Xbox have a lot of similar games, but they also have a lot of exclusive experiences that you can't get on the other platform. And I like to make sure I keep up to date with all those ex exclusive experiences that they have. Even though that some of them have more than others, like Nintendo has a lot more of those than the other two, and Sony definitely has more than the place than the Xbox. But anyway, I digress. The point is, it's like, power... It's nice to have a strong console, yes. Strong consoles... Having a powerful console can help the sales of the console, because people will buy it. There are people that will buy the console and buy those console versions based on the fact that, that version of that of the game or that version of that game is more superior in terms of graphic on another one. Okay, yeah, see I'm supposed to do this. But now what? Oh, I'm supposed to put stuff in there, ain't I? Oh, a bomb! Okay, I see it. Yeah, I'm supposed to put a bomb in there. Alright. But yeah, like, with the Switch, it's not as powerful, sure. Whoa, okay, cool. Alright, so I figured out how to do this. It's not as powerful, yes, but it's still a pretty good experience. It's a breath of fresh air from what we've been getting um, for the past, what, even uh, from the, pa the past uh, few decades, and even from Nintendo themselves, that from all the companies, Atari, Sega, Nintendo, Microsoft, Sony, we've been getting, you know, that console experience where it just upgrades all the time. Not so much Nintendo during the Wii and the Wii U era, but definitely um, from all, all these companies as in all the other generations and definitely from Sony and Microsoft during the 8th and 8th generation and the 7th generation and even now with the mid console ref uh, refreshes um, the other thing is that and it's it's just that uh, hold on. the other thing is that you know we don't expect to get these types of games I guess People would ex want Nintendo to do this all-be-powerful console that's that's just your regular standard one, because they've done it before. People say that Nintendo doesn't do... They, Nintendo don't do powerful consoles, and that's not true. Nintendo has done powerful consoles in the past before. The GameCube was stronger than the... Uh, the GameCube was stronger than the uh, PlayStation 2 and the Dreamcast... Granted, it was weaker than the than the Xbox, but uh, it wasn't. I don't think it was by too much. But it was, it was the second strongest console. It was stronger than the PlayStation Two and the Dreamcast. And the thing is, uh, the N sixty four was also way more powerful than the PlayStation and the Sega Saturn. Um, the Super Nintendo was stronger than the Genesis. Their only instance that Nintendo had a weaker console before the Wii and the Wii U was with the NES, which was weaker than the Master System, because the Master System could actually put out actual um, audio, like actual voices and stuff, and it did have a lot of other thing, uh, qualities that the NES didn't have. Yeah, I think it had it could do more colors and shading and stuff. I forget. It was... Uh, I forget what I, I read this somewhere. But, um... When it came down to, like, power, Nintendo did always have a, a strong console. It wasn't to the Wii that they decided to switch this around and change it up and and do it a different way. And the Wii did take off, and the Wii did do good, but that doesn't mean that there was. But that doesn't mean that that would have continued. 
that they couldn't have at least done it in HD. You know, it still probably could have done well, but it probably would have been $300 at least. Um, but I think I digress here because there is a couple of other things I need to talk about. But it is 25 minutes and I'm going to end the